Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint falling stars. Working on a 16 by 20 double primed stretched canvas, we're going to take a large blending brush and phthalo blue. Begin on the top portion of the canvas, pulling back and forth, and then up and down. Add a little bit more, making it a bit darker. Next, let's take Neon Purple Violet, and if you don't have this color, you can use Magenta. I'm going to start blending that in just underneath and over top of part of the blue. And we'll start adding some shadow down below for where our big clouds are going to be. take some white and neon purple pull and blend up and down and let's take some more phthalo And with a clean mop brush or blending brush, we're going to take a bit of titanium white and some turquoise. A little bit of phthalo. And we'll start dusting and wiggling around. Working wet on wet so I can easily blend colors wherever I need to. Now I'm going to take turquoise and phthalo and blend the two together for a darker shadow color right here. Okay, taking my filbert brush, white and neon pink. Carefully start blending into that purple and then Create a little crescent moon. We'll define it a little bit more with some white inside to make it stand out. And we'll add some hot pink down in the bottom in these clouds. Sometimes brighter and sometimes softer by adding more white. Okay, now I want to add some neon pink on the very top, layering over that blue. And turquoise. I'm washing my brush out in between. We can use some turquoise and blue so that phthalo blue mixed with turquoise will make a really pretty phthalo green kind of a color. And we'll add that in and around the clouds for some shadows. Clean brush, pink and blue with a little bit of white. Makes a very pretty purple color. Then we'll start applying some more clouds right up top here and then white for a highlight to give it those soft peaks I like to use a filbert brush it's really nice for this and then for a little bit more detail and fine lines I'll use a liner brush I'm 
So we'll add highlights and little peaks on our clouds using white, a little bit of turquoise, white and pink. Just make a soft pastel color using white out of any color you have on your palette. Let's add some more pink. Now that this has had time to dry, I want to reapply these colors to make it really vivid. So the pink first and then titanium white. So I want these clouds down at the bottom to be a lot softer, so I'm using more white. And later on I'm going to come in with some neon orange. I'll mix that with white and make a very soft peach color. I'm pressing carefully but firmly to flatten out the bottom of my filbert brush so that I can get um, a nice edge on the peaks of these clouds. You want to have the paint on the very end of your brush when doing this. Let's take some white and phthalo. We're going to start tapping in and pulling and flicking. Just want, I still need a little bit more color right here, so I'm going over right on the outside with more of that neon pink. And a little bit of that purple violet too. Now I'm taking some white and the neon pink, and I'm just kind of squiggling around, lightly pulling, and wiggling around to create some pretty clouds. I'm going to outline the moon with the pink. Back to turquoise and white. And let's start pulling in and flicking some lines for our stars. And then as these clouds start to dry, we can go back and add some more highlights that will really stand out. Using a long liner brush, some white, and I'm just going to come in and really add some bright, bright highlights. They're very thin and fine, and I'm not necessarily being too careful about this. I'm kind of just pulling and wiggling around really quickly in all different directions, so it looks very natural. And you can pick up some pink and wiggle it around right by this moon. And then I just soften with the end of my finger. Let's begin our stars by taking white and dabbing wherever we want a star. And then we'll pull, press, and flick lightly for the lines. Now we want them to be very sporadic. You don't want them all in a row. And they don't all have to be straight up and down either. They can be a little bit curved and going in different directions if you want. So the idea with these stars is to make them all those pretty pastel colors and then the bright white will be in the very center of the star. Um, so once it dries you can mix in some light pink and pull and flick light pink over some of them and light blue on the others, turquoise, purple and so on and so forth.
And then we're going to have just a few stars that aren't falling. They're just twinkling up there in those clouds. Now I did uh, another video very similar to this one um, last year and you guys really liked it but a few of you uh, mentioned that it was a bit difficult to follow so I wanted to do it again. Um, it's not exactly the same. It's a little bit different but same idea, same colors and I'm hoping that you guys will pick up something different. Maybe I'll offer some more tips in this one that I missed in the last one so comment below and let me know what you guys thought of this one I'm just wiggling in some of that neon pink with a liner brush and then I'm gonna soften and pull gently with a filbert and then we'll flick some of that color into the stars Take some phthalo and start pulling and wiggling in some lines here for some shadow. Let's take some turquoise and start wiggling that around layering clouds so they'll be brighter right below those stars or right behind those stars and then as that pink dries underneath I add a few more little squiggles and lines with white and pink so you just want to make a light bubblegum color. Back to adding some more detail and outlining a few of these clouds. Some more stars. You just want to tap straight up and down with the end of your brush and then come in with turquoise, a little bit of white, and just wiggle your brush all around. Take some more of that phthalo blue now in white and continue with the clouds around the moon. I'm even going to start to overlap some turquoise and white right up on the very end of the left side of the moon and I'll pull some turquoise down in here just squiggles and wiggles and then you instantly create these little clouds. It's so easy, all with a liner brush. And this one's going to be a little bit brighter, so I added a bit more white. And I'm using the filbert brush for this one because it's larger, and I want it to have more of a soft, blended look.
So right here is when I'm going to add some clouds right next to that moon, touching just the very end of it. And we'll layer in some more stars. This painting is all about layering. You can, doesn't matter, there's no specific order. You can add a shadow whenever you want, highlights whenever you want, more stars. That's why it's so fun to create this. I just love painting starry skies and I've got my toothbrush now. I'm taking water, turquoise and white, lots of water actually. And then I'm going to spray and flick. So now it looks more like a galaxy with all sorts of soft nebulas. And yeah, just all these pretty colors. And you can create this painting with other colors too. Just pick any colors you'd like. And you can incorporate them into a uh, falling star painting. Make sure you just have white to create all those pastels. And just with a couple brushes, you can make your very own starscape. So I've decided to pick up some neon orange now. And I'm going to take white, mix the two together for a soft peachy color. And then I'm going to go over with a little bit more white to give it some highlights. So I'm going to add just a little bit of this up and around the clouds. I'm not going to add too, too much. So a little bit up here. The peach color is very complementary to or with that light purple. And I'll add some more stars. And a few more highlights and squiggles. Light pink and white. Some orange, pink, and white. The only color I didn't use that you could and that would look really pretty actually is uh, neon yellow and white. Um, so you want to make sure if you add the neon yellow, you add a lot of white to it and you put it kind of next to the, the peach color and the turquoise and it will look so pretty. Stepping a bit of turquoise around some of these stars and just the straight phthalo blue right now. This just really helps to add dimension and depth in a painting when you have lots of light and shadow and then all the shades in between. So just really take your time with this one, you guys, and enjoy the process. Enjoy the color blending and color mixing and all the layering. Don't think so much about the finished product. Just enjoy the process. So I'm just adding some more turquoise here and a little bit of white. Okay, this painting is almost all done. I'm just going to add some phthalo blue and white over here. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me again today. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time everybody. Happy painting!